Hello guys, uh, today we will discuss collagen synthesis and I have prepared a small story which will help you to remember the steps of collagen synthesis. So let's see if it works for you. So uh, let's assume that guests are coming to your home. Okay, so what will you do? First you will offer them some water. Okay, and preferably you can add some lemon in the water. So better give them lemon water. Then uh, give some sweets to the guest. Okay, and after eating, hopefully they will leave the home. Okay, so if you remember all this step, it will be real easy to remember the steps of collagen. So let's see how it works. See, I have kept the G capital in the guest. So that helps me remember, that helps me remember that glycine. Glycine is the most abundant amino acid in the collagen. So see, this, this G helps me to remember, okay. Now see, in second step I have written giving water uh, water to the guest and adding lemon to it. So water helps me to remember about hydroxylation. Hydroxylation, right? Water H2O, so hydroxylation. And why adding lemon to it? See, whenever I think about lemon, I remember about vitamin C. So this helps me to remember that this step requires vitamin C and believe me a lot of people forget like they might uh, they might write vitamin C in glycosylation or any other step this is really confusing so this will help you to remember I guess so see uh, see water helps me to remember hydroxylation and why adding lemon to it because this helps me to remember that this step requires vitamin C so in absence of of vitamin C this hydroxylation step cannot occur okay so see okay the, the the third step is giving sweets to the guest why sweets this helps me to remember about glycosylation 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 I remember like adding sugar glucose so that helps me to remember with sweets so see the guests are coming that will help you to remember that G means glycine then give them water with some lemon added in it so that's hydroxylation with vitamin C and then give them sweets that's glycosylation okay one more thing uh, if you give sweets to to your guest uh, your bonding with guest will increase or decrease I guess giving sweets to the guest will help you to make a stronger bond with the guest right so this is the first step in collagen synthesis where bond will form which kind of bond bond hydrogen and disulfide bond okay so see again th this really works okay try to remember it in this way so first time hydrogen and disulfide bond will form okay uh, now uh, what will happen by bo uh, for means when these bonds will form see okay the individual chain let me tell you the individual chain of collagen is called alpha chain okay alpha chain okay when there are three alpha chain let's draw it three alpha chain and one more sorry I don't have I mean other color to show you the perfectly three three chains but I think this will work okay so when there are three alpha chains and you connect them internally by hydrogen disulfide bond it will form a triple helix it will form a triple helix so see the single chain here it is called alpha chain and the collagen here is called pre pro collagen okay this is pre pro collagen while this triple helix it is called pro collagen so basically what is the difference between pre pro collagen and pro collagen here there is only single chain while in pro collagen there is triple helix okay now uh, see okay the fourth step is guest leave the home that means this pro collagen will leave the cell okay leave the cell cell sorry cells not cell that's it that is exo cytosis okay so see guests leave the home that's exocytosis now the point which is really held in held uh, held in this whole discussion is vitamin c definitely if there is curvy there will be defect in collagen synthesis and also you can see bleeding and all those things uh, another point is see if there is problem in glycosylation 
okay then there will be de defect in prob uh, forming triple helix and that is seen classically in osteogenesis osteogenesis imperfecta okay these are the really high point in the whole discussion osteogenesis imperfecta and scurvy they really like uh, like to taste on this uh, this topics this uh, step because see this might seem very simpler to you but uh, when you solve the question you might there are there are chances that you might make mistake so this is really often tested topic on usml step 1 now let's proceed ahead. so see when the cell will leave okay yeah one more thing all the three steps first three steps will occur in rough endoplasmic reticulum okay from rough endoplasmic reticulum it will go to golgi body right and from there it will leave the cell so another thing that they can test uh, test on you uh, means test on i mean make a question is let me tell you one thing leave the cell sorry i forgot to write so that distracted me so see uh, whenever there is problem in uh, transferring pro collagen from rough endoplasmic reticulum to golgi body then what will happen this is really i mean they do test this thing see if there is problem in transporting the pro collagen from rough endoplasmic reticulum to golgi body then what will happen the answer will be there will be accumulation of uh, pro collagen in the rough endoplasmic reticulum this, this is really tested so see again the high things vitamin c deficiency there will be problem with hydroxylation in osteogenesis imperfecta there will be problem in forming triple helix so there will be defect in glycosylation right now uh, there will be fifth step okay we finished five uh, four steps there will be fifth step in fifth step there will be cutting of the disulfide rich terminal regions the di i think the diagram is given nicely in first day 2016 so better see the diagram from first aid 2016 if you are using the first aid 2015 okay at least just diagram that is given nicely in first aid 2016 i compared both so let's draw a triple helix here okay and when you cut these end parts that's co called a proteolytic processing or proteolytic cleav cleavaging so see when you cut these end parts then the pro collagen is converted into tropocollagen tropocollagen so see what's the difference between procollagen and tropocollagen it's just that the ends are cut and this tropocollagen is now insoluble in water it is insoluble okay so that's the main difference between procollagen and the tropocollagen now what's the sixth point the sixth point is when all these tropocollagens let me draw quickly sorry i don't have another color so I might mess it up see now now what will happen in the sixth step there will be formation of covalent bond yeah see there will be formation of covalent bond between the triple helix means I mean between the tropocollagen see this is just for understanding see there will be formation of covalent bond so see in all the six steps there are only two steps where bond formation occur the first one is along with glycosylation where hydrogen and disulfide bond occurs and uh, the last step where covalent bond forms okay so just keep that in mind here covalent bond forms here hydrogen and disulfide bond forms and another thing is here the bond forms within the triple helix the bond forms within the triple helix while here the the bond forms between the triple helix okay and now finally after this covalent bond this is called collagen okay to form this covalent bond what do you re require lysyl hydroxylase i guess sorry i forgot the name yeah it's lysyl oxidase hydroxylase oxidase it is confusing so see the enzyme th that is required is lysyl oxidase and for this enzyme to work you need copper copper okay this is again a highly tested topic i mean highly tested step to be more specific so see 
if you'll remember in this way it will be really helpful and let's again recap i mean let's see again the high yield things first thing is vitamin c during hydroxylation another is glycosylation and osteogenesis imperfecta the third one is leaving the cell what happens if there is uh, there is a problem in transporting pro collagen from rough endoplasmic reticulum to golgi body or else okay yeah if there is problem in uh, transporting uh, pro collagen from golgi body to outside of the cell if the problem is here then there will be swelling of golgi body okay so remember this also and again the last important thing is this copper that uh, lysyl oxidase needs copper for working so okay what is the difference between these terms let's let's revise it quickly uh, the pre pro collagen it has just single chain what's pro collagen when this single chain they the three chain comes and they form triple helix then it is called pro collagen when you cut their end it is called tropo collagen and finally when you do this covalent bonding that is cross linking then it is called collagen so these are the steps for collagen synthesis and I hope if you remember these four things th this might look funny but this will help you to remember the gas story okay so yeah all the best for your step